Christina from Creations with Christina and welcome to What's Up Wednesday. Today I wanted to do something a little different instead of sharing with you a project or something like that. I thought I would share with you um, a couple of my kind of things I like to do to keep myself organized. Um, was recently watching Organized with Jen and how she uses her her Filofax and her um, life planner to keep herself organized. And I've always used my Filofax and I have the life planner. Um, and I also have a little system for keeping track of my supplies and stuff when I'm making a project and I need to post it and stuff on my blog. And um, and I, I, I love notebooks. I've always loved notebooks. I used to, when I was in high school, I would buy a new notebook constantly and rewrite my notes. Um, I also like techie things. Um, I, I love, I mean, my iPhone is with me wherever I go. Um, I use this mainly now for... Uh, my emails on here but I also put all of my work stuff on here as well so now I'm no longer using my Filofax which is originally what I was using it for at work um, because every day I would have to rewrite out everything and and I felt like that was taking up a lot of time so and we use Outlook at work and I can connect it with my phone I have access to my calendar I have access to my tasks that I need to get done every day so I'm really use, starting to use this more, especially when I'm not at work and I need to, um, you know, connect with different, uh, you know, my calendars and stuff like that. So don't really use it too much for my home calendar because I keep a lot of my personal stuff also with my work email So because it's just easier than transferring it constantly from one email to the other. So, so this is our one calendar to the other. So this is my supplement or my, ne my new thing um, from... Uh, the, just this past week with getting it all updated. It wasn't working right. We had to do a little bit of research to figure out why my Outlook was was acting funny, but we finally got it working. Um, I use a Vera Bradley case, and I do not like this case. It's a hard shell case for the iPhone 5 and 5S. And I was just at AT&T today, and it took myself and um, two other people that worked there to get this open. And now that we switched phones and I have the new phone, do you think I can get this thing open? I can't. And they thought they figured out why it was getting stuck. But honestly, it wasn't why it was getting stuck. So I think I'm stuck with this case. But anyway, I like the love this pattern. This is the Plum Crazy, which is my favorite pattern. Um, but anyway, back to my point of my video is to share with you my different um, journals and how I keep track of things. My first thing, which I posted on Instagram a couple of days ago, this is something I made last week um, or last weekend is my I don't know if I want to call it a supply book or a sketchbook but this is what I've been using to keep track I had a different version of this going um, for a while and I only did it in just a like a notebook I had left laying around just you know my office here and I really liked how it worked so I decided to stay with that um, but actually make it an official book so I bought this book this is the Martha Stewart um, disc bound customizable notebook. It's six and a half by nine. It has 60 sheets in it. I didn't buy anything else to go in it because I knew I was just going to really use it for the paper that was included. And I use this to, like I said, keep track of the supplies and the um, dimensions and sketches and stuff. So let me show you how, what I did. So first I keep it closed with my Erin Condren. I have an extra Erin Condren um, band and I like the silver with that blue color so I just uh, use that and then I have um, a little pocket here and as I was sitting here looking at this I was grabbing my photos that are going in a project life layout and I thought what well, boy this would be great even for doing a project life making a project life book out of it to keep track of your different things for project life so anyway um, I'm thinking I would going to use this front cover just to stick the cards in of the projects that are upcoming videos that I haven't posted yet so I thought that would be a good place to keep those there is a section for personal stuff which I don't have filled out um, because I don't really plan on using it for anything other than just my supply list and it has the holidays and the um, 2013 to 2016 calendar in it and special dates so basically what I'm using it for is this this is what it looks like. It's um, a section where I can keep like the name of the card. I usually use whatever the sentiment is, is what I name my card. I have a little circle up here that I have put the date that it was posted and if it was a video. 
I have my products that were used and then down the bottom I have the dimensions so the card base or any special layers or anything like that and then I have a little sketch area down here too that if I need to go back and get some inspiration I can go back to this and get it so like I said I've been had another version of this I don't have it handy I'd show it to you it's um, but it really worked out the only thing I did not include in there before which I include now are my sketches so this is a uh, look at it, what it looks like blank, and this is how my last two cards is what I've been using to keep track of this. Um, I'm using the Desktop File Inspiration stamp set, and this was really originally used uh, for a Rolodex, which I did go ahead and make myself one when I first purchased it, and it was kind of going to be used for this purpose, um, but I found this to be too small, so now I just really use it for decoration. And this is where I got all of the stamps from to get this uh, set up for myself. The little circle, we've got the sketch stuff, so even if you're, like to do scrapbooks, there is even a square here. Um, there's the sketches, the cards, the hor horizontal, vertical, square, um, ideas. There's the, It's a great little stamp set for making something like this or doing that Rolodex version. So, so that's my, what I'm doing. I'm don't have anything done other than the last two videos I've done because I have been kind of crazy busy getting things ready for Ethan's birthday party that we just had yesterday. So um, my pencil is a from Jet Pens and it's a zebra pencil and I don't know what it's called. I just know it's by Zebra, but I'll link it below. I do like this pencil because it matches my book perfectly. Um, I've had, got this about over the summer. I had placed an order with Jet Pens and so I keep that right inside here and then it's always handy because I prefer to write in pencil. So and then I just keep this wrapped with my Erin, the silver band on it. So the other planner I like to use is my Erin Condren and originally I was using this strictly for home. I have done a whole video on this. It's over on my other blog um, or my other YouTube channel which if you guys want to check that out you can. Um, I don't really post anything on that YouTube channel, but I did do this planner on that channel, so if you want to check it out and see what it's like. Um, that was when I first picked it up, which I think was back in October or November. Um, I love this planner. I will definitely get another one. The only thing I won't do is I won't get it as an 18-month planner because it is awfully thick. Um, not that it's a problem, but I think I'd like it um, just as a 12-month planner, so it's a little bit thinner. Um, I love the pattern. I don't remember the name of the pattern. If I I will definitely post it on the screen here so you can um, know what it's called. Um, anyway, they should be coming out, Erin Condren should be coming out with some new styles and designs soon because I did notice that when I was on her, um, on the site a couple of days ago or two weeks ago or a week ago or whatever it was, that um, a lot of the planners are gone. So and I think it's because they're starting to plan out their new release. So if you want to check those out or wait a couple weeks, you'll be able to check out the new planners. But anyway, um, this is, when you order from Erin Condren, you can actually add some stuff to it. I purchased the little set of bands to keep wrapped around, so that's where my silver one came from, is from Erin Condren. And you can also purchase things like labels, and you can purchase your own personalized note paper and stuff like that, which is something I did. I keep my note paper in the front. You can also um, stick it in the back section here, but I wanted to be able to have access to 2015 and 2016. So I put it in the front. It It is a little heavy for the front page, but so far the paper hasn't peeled off or anything. And because I mostly keep everything either laying flat or bound um, with my band, I don't have a problem. Originally purchased this planner to keep track of stuff for home. Um, I was watching Organize with Jen, and I loved how she used it for, is using hers for keeping track of her um, blog posting, because um, I know she has multiple channels. Um, but I wanted to use it not only for my blog posting and my videos but also for my Stampin' Up! stuff too because I have a couple of um, clubs that I run. I have two ink clubs and a stamp club and it just helps me know when I need to get codes out to them or um, when a special uh, sale is going on and stuff like that. But like I said originally I planned to use this as my home planner and keep track of things I need to get done. Um, th I guess I started this in November so I must have ordered it in October and then started using it in November of last year. And I was 
kind of keeping everything in here and also in my file of facts. Some, a lot of things that were in both never made it to this because it was just basically at home and my file of facts was at work and I didn't have Outlook to remember to update things. So anyway, that's why I changed things around. Um, I do color code things. I'll explain that more when I get to my file effects since I'm not really using this for anything other than businessy kind of stuff. Um, love Jennifer McGuire's, er, yeah, Jennifer McGuire, Jennifer Ross. <laughs> I love Jennifer McGuire too. Um, but anyway, I love her, the way she did her labels. She bought the removable labels and I did the same thing um, that she did and I have different labels for different things. Like I have one for Stampin' Up and this is, um, Monday motivation videos. These are my What's Up Wednesday videos and my Stampin' on Friday. So I took February, which originally was planned out with my personal stuff, and I took my white out and did you know white out, did all the white out on there and used it now is specifically for business stuff. So. Um, keeping in mind that I didn't do it until last week, so this kind of stuff I just filled in. And now as I move on to March, things will be a little bit uh, better. Um, I started off at the beginning of the week doing things I needed to to check, reminders, to do a couple of things. Um, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I did not do anything stamp, you know, business blog stamping up related because I was planning out Ethan's birthday party, so I really didn't do much there. And then I have um, some things I need to get done today, which is including filming my What's Up Wednesday video, which is today. Um, so anyway, that's kind of how I'm using it. I do have some Stampin' Up! things planned out for next month, and I have my yellow tabs in here. And then I really don't have anything else planned out right now for anything but that, but really love this planner. I love the colors. Each month has different colors, kind of themed to go along with you know, whatever is happening like, you know, July, it's red, white, and blue for um, the 4th of July. So I really love the colors. So anyway, that's the planner. It also comes with a note section, which I really like the note section too. Um, I really don't use it. I was going to use it for, you know, I did write out my video plan schedule, and then I was going to use it for some ideas of things I wanted to do, but I never really got around to that. There's a contact section. And then in the back here, there's some labels that come with that um, with the book. And then you can order extra labels, which are bound right inside the book. There's a little like file pocket section. And in here I have uh, some labels that I had them print for me. It was one sheet. Um, it wasn't really enough. So I'm glad that uh, Jennifer posted her video on using those removal labels, because that's going to be great. And then it does come with a clear pocket in the back. Right now, the only thing I have in there is refill for my lead uh, pencil and my mechanical pencil um, because I have two two of these pencils and they take special lead. It's uh, and I'll show you that in a second. And then there's the back cover, so I really love it. It's hard laminate. It's really nice. Um, my favorite pencils are these uh, Yuna. I think they're Yuna Ox, Ox Gel. I got it from. Jet pens. It's a little expensive. I got this one over the summer and then recently ordered myself another one. And they are expensive, but uh, the grip on it, it's really nice. It's got one of those kind of rubbery, rubberized grips, and it's really nice to write with. And uh, the smoothness of the lead is unbelievable. So I just keep that clipped right in the spiral of my notebook, and then I keep it closed with my little rubber band tab here. So so that's my Erin Condren quick overlook. You can go back and, like I said, check that other video. And then I have my file facts. I believe the last video I did on my file facts, which was probably two years ago, I was using the red, um, is it Finsbury? I think it's Finsbury. Um, but I have been wanting the Malden um, okra for the longest time. It kept going out of stock and uh, pens and leather got it back in and I ordered it so I was so excited so I've had this for a couple of months now I really like it the leather is so soft on this thing um, but it is really soft so it kind of does bend um, I did put uh, something in one of the pockets I'll show you what I what it is um, 
back in the back here to help kind of stabilize it a little bit because without it, it was really floppy. I took one of the chipboard pieces that were on the back of the notebooks and just stuck it inside and that kind of helps stabilize it a little bit. And then back here I also have these little, they're um, little memo note stickies by, I think I ordered these from, is it Moshi, Mochi things, Moshi things, um, a couple months ago and I keep these, I love these little snowmen. So I have them and I'll show you those in a minute in my book and I'll show you what I do with those. And then I have um, little kitten ones too that I know, I think now you can get them uh, on Amazon or Jet Pens actually might even have them, I think. So, and then this, well, I'll show you these two. So I keep my um, Stampin' Up! business card in here, and then I also have my library business card in here as well. These pockets are awfully small. They're not very deep at all, so I can't really stick even post-its in there because they're sticking out. Um, so what I did was I just took some of my clips that Terry sent me from the container store because I don't have a local container store so she grabbed these for me and I just keep them clipped here for when I need them for whatever reason and then I have um, this little pocket here that's behind the zipper section and in here I keep my Martha Stewart um, little dew drops and then I keep my two favorite post-it notes right there I don't do washi tape or anything like that um, in my book and then this section right here is supposed to have stamps, but um, I had used up all my stamps, so I need to get more. Um, so I need to put that on my to-do list, get more stamps. It does include two pencil holders. Uh, there's one in the front and one in the back. I only use the back one because I have another one of those um, awesome pens in there. And the pen doesn't actually fit in the loop. So what I do is I just use the clip and just keep it right on in the inside, and that seems to hold it up well. Um, I have my calendar, my monthly calendar. I don't do anything special. I do color code a little bit. Um, February was kind of crazy. February has been so crazy because of the weather. We've had the worst weather. This winter has been terrible. I'm so, I cannot wait for spring. Um, but this was January and I color code things where my work stuff was in red and Ethan was in, in green and Scott's orange and um, my personal stuff was in teal and then birthdays are in pink and I, I really narrowed it down a little bit more and I'll show you um, that in a second. Um, so anyway, I am going to, especially in March when I start doing March because I really haven't filled anything in here other than um, a couple uh, dentist and hair appointment and um, school related stuff for Ethan. Um, so anyway, I do the color coding and it does work really well and I, I like to see the, the colors and I kind of zone in when I know if I need to look for something. Um, so originally, like I said, originally I was using this for for work and I was keeping track of when I needed to do things. If I had something that I needed to work on, I took post-it notes. If I needed to quickly write it down, I have um, just slapped a post-it note on it and then transferred it later. Um, uh, this is now what I'm using it for is my home stuff and keeping track of my stuff I need to get done when I'm at home. So I do have the two page, um, or the one, is it one day per page or two days, whatever they call it. I think it's one day per page. I generally don't, unless I have an appointment, use this over here. I just mainly use this side um, for keeping track of my to-do list. So I remember, not that I forget what I have to do, but a lot of, if I have something special especially. So this past weekend it was Ethan's birthday, so like Friday I marked that I was working all day and then I had to run to Target and Hobby Lobby to pick up a couple of things. Then I had um, to pick up his cake at a certain time, what time his party started, and then all the things I needed to get done, which were general things like clean and decorate and nothing too elaborate. I don't really go into, especially on the weekends, like breaking things down too much. Um, only because the space is kind of small. If I have appointments like today, I had an appointment at AT&T uh, for my phone, and then um, I have my list of things I need to get done, and I still have a couple of things I got to do today. And then I'll go in, um, one of my things today, since it's Sunday, is I need to go in and do all my updating for the week. So that's kind of how I'm using it. I'm keeping it really simple. Like I said, I don't washi tape or anything like that. I just like to keep it clean and simple. 
There is a section for to-dos. That's paper that came with the file facts. I really don't use it. And then I have the notebook paper that's colored that came with the file facts as well. And then back here I have my, my that's Ethan, that was his school picture this year. And um, I have my business cards, I have extra ones for Stampin' Up, and then I have my extra library ones here as well. And then on this side I have my notebook from Erin Condren that it came, when I ordered it, you ordered a set of notebooks and it came with two, so one of them fits perfectly in the back of my file effects, which if I didn't say is an A5, so it's the bigger size planner, and I really like that size. I tried a personal size, I didn't really like how it was working, so um, it was a... Uh, one that was on clearance um, on Filofax's website was only like twenty some dollars or something like that. So I actually passed that on to my sister. So that's a look at how I'm kind of keeping track of all my, st you know, stuff for blog posting and supply list and stuff like that. And then this I also was inspired by um, uh, Jen from Organize with Jen. She doesn't use her, she uses hers as her walking pharmacy, but I thought this was a great idea for keeping some of my supplies that I need to quick hand on my desk here at home. Um, on this side I keep all of my pens that I do for my color coding along with my whiteout and an extra of my pencil refills. And this little zipper pouch which is attached, I keep some of my extra post-its, like I've got my open pack of um, the dots and then my ones that these are almost gone, so my little tabs, my smiley tabs. And then over here I have a pair of scissors. I really thinking I'm going to use this for some post-it notes. And then on this side I also have some more of my business cards tucked in here as well. And um, so that's basically it. That's how I keep my supplies stored. So anyway, that's a look at all of my different planners and how I kind of keep myself somewhat organized. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, thanks for watching, and at the end of this video, I'll put a link to my old file of facts and then also a link to my Erin Condren setup, too, if you want to check that out. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will catch you next time.